Good afternoon, everybody. It's really a proud moment for me to be here with me here. And I know him from uh, almost like 15, 20 years. And with Dr. Agarwal, who has been my mentor, guru, and everything. With your permission, I request Dr. Agarwal to release the book, talk about the book, and that because he has been the mentor, he has been the guide for me here. So he will release the book. Providing some infrastructure, providing some help to the world. So this is what the crux of his thesis is on his, in his book, that caste politics cannot provide equity and justice to society because it's based on different principles, which is contradictory to the very principle of democracy. Uh, Dr. Bhole had predicted, and I take a little bit credit for the same, two together we sat down and we said, Mr. Nitish Kumar will win the election and Yado will lose it. Reason? His analysis indicated that caste conflict cannot be to equity and justice. I hope it will be read by a large number of people across the world and my congratulations. <laughs> I would request me to say something about his book now. I'm now in Talk a few things about my book and this in the company of this August gathering, uh, where people are much more enlightened, much more knowledgeable than I am. I've just tried to, you know, touch the tip of the iceberg because the whole discourse is so vast uh, in itself, and 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 you know, everybody has his own point of view, and very rightly so. I you can't just say that uh, who was right and who is wrong and what perspective should we take and what should we take. Why I chose the subject? That's again something uh, important that must be coming to mind. I thought that if this is an issue, let's examine it. And how best can we examine it and how to examine it? There has to be a certain process. And that process actually dragged me towards what you call the social research, where Different sets of people had different kinds of stories about it. No two stories are alike. The different versions, different ideas, different notions. And how do you reconcile? Second thing, which is again very important, the moment you start talking about caste politics and caste conflict, a couple of issues which immediately come to your mind are issues like you know, issues of identity. What's your identity? Who you are, who I am. And I think at most places people are actually fighting. The whole fight has started with this, this, this notion in the mind that who you are, you know, you must be something, you must be placed somewhere in that hierarchy and then that's your identity. If you don't have it, then maybe, you know, you're not accepted. So there are lots of social, social uh, ascension at the social level which uh, is just happening for a long time. That's one thing. Then, because of that, we have lots of conflict at the social level, at the economic level, at the political level, at the three different strata. You also have the issues of dominance, because there is somebody who is dominating somewhere. And then, when you do the whole analysis, you find that it is nothing but the whole story, the whole narrative, the whole discourse is about a dominant class syndrome. Those who are not dominant, they try to become dominant. And how they become dominant? You become dominant either economically, or you become dominant politically, or you become dominant numerically. And God willing, if you have all these three factors put together, nobody can defeat you. And then the more you try to you know, understand, unravel the layers, the more fascination the fascinated you start getting about it. Because how it is happening? Who is doing it? Why they're doing it? You know, you, you have uh, you, you have OBCs and then you also have ABCs. What is this development? You have Pichara and you have Ati Pichara. You have Dalit and then you also have Mahadalit. And then 
the smart people in politics, what they do is to they put these, it's this kind of a jigsaw puzzle where you put different kind of, uh, you know, units together to create different kind of units. Something that really works and which really helps you in your ultimate purpose of getting, you know, creating a good bank. As far as uh, Bihar is concerned, which is two agenda became very prominent. One was social justice and another as a counterpoint was social engineering. Interestingly, during uh, 1976 to 2001, we had close to 100 caste carnages in Bihar, in which close to 1,000 people lost their life. So this is, again, you know, some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, puzzle that appears in front of eyes. Now, how is it possible? You are talking about social justice and you have so much of conflict where people are getting killed. We thought that uh, let's, let's examine it. Let's do a field survey and, and try and find out what people say. And that should be the view that we should hold. You know, besides holding our own views, points of view. Interestingly, some of the findings which were very amazing, shocking at times. Something like when we ask, "What? Well, how do you look at caste?" And people say, "Yes, caste, nothing, but it's a vote bank because it's a social institution which has which has been converted into a political institution." Secondly, uh, when we talked about uh, you know, who has benefited most from the social justice? And then you'll be surprised that even among the OBCs and the Dalits, they said that those who are dominant among OBCs and the Dalits, they are the one who got most benefited from the whole process of social justice. Wherever you travel, no matter if it's Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, which, um, but then of course my, my area of study was Bihar itself, that those who are economically weak, irrespective of the category, should be included a benefit of social justice, which you know, in other words is about all about reservation. We also thought that it's about social political, social economic disparity because of which most of the times you have the conflicts which are happening. In the present context, that is also one for a slight change, and people feel that it is more about the political dominance because. If you are politically dominating, the rest of the things fall in place. Means you also become economically better off. So politics has really played a very important role, but then with a question mark, to what extent and how far? Because we also have other factors. We also have economic factors, which are because economic factors are becoming much more predominating these days. Your identity is established, your identity is better if you are economically better off in the present condition. I request you to go to the book, read it, uh, agree with it, disagree with it, denounce it, criticize it, whatever. But you must read it. That's my request to you. Thank you very much, sir, for your विकास के रास्ते में नहीं आता है तब तक देश सोचना है धन्यवाद सबको